Hey guys, Rigid came out with a new 18 volt compact handheld vacuum that is less expensive than the last model. We're gonna talk about that, go over this model in its entirety, so stay tuned. This is Rigid's new 18 volt compact handheld vacuum, model number R860902. In this model, is sold as a bear tool. It is $49.97 at the Home Depot. Currently comes with the vacuum floor nozzle, a crevice nozzle that I have in its holder here, and then an extension. So why a less expensive vacuum? This is not a brushless model like the other Gen 5X, that is model number R86090, but the brushless model is $87, and this being $49, it's a lot more affordable for some people who don't really need the vacuum or don't really want the vacuum, and performance hasn't really changed. What has changed is this is a dry-only version, so you're not going to pick up water with this guy. Looking at the inside of it, it is simple to get in. You just turn, make sure you have everything facing downward. Right, so you don't want to spill anything out of this. There is a small flap in here that's going to keep any of your debris inside this dust collection area. You would dump that out. You do have a pre-screen in here. That's a simple twist and a pull. This screen is, you could blow it out. You could probably wash it if need be. And then you have a fabric filter that sits over top. This fabric filter you could pound this out, you could maybe wash it, but make sure that it would be dry when you put it back together. You can see on the inside, this one is perfectly clean as we have not used it yet, but there's no ball in here stopping any water that could come in and get into the motor. So if you use this for anything wet, you are out, and I would assume the lifetime service agreement would not cover stupid. So to put this back together, you just put everything in and you give it a twist. Put this guy back together, simple twist. Everything here works very simple as you would expect any other vacuum to. Here's a combination of some dirt and some sawdust. We're basically gonna pick this up, roll over to some carpet. But to use this, I put on again our three amp hour octane. We'll turn it on with the switch and it will stay on. There was definitely a decrease in suction fairly quickly after it pulled everything in, but you can see here, we're pretty full and we do have some coming out the end. So I'm gonna vacuum that back up. We'll go over to the carpet. This is a commercial grade carpet that you would find glued down. Basically all we're gonna do here is let everything out and take a look inside. You can see the screen kind of got piled up with some stuff. A little bit of that dirt got through and piled up on this filter. Let me pull this filter out, take a look at it. Basics here, most of the dirt went right through the filter. Not a big deal, but um, that screen helps only to keep the big stuff out put it back together and I'm gonna rub this into the carpet a little bit. I think that's probably one of the better tests. If you're gonna use this in camping or cleaning up on a job site, you're not gonna have a ton of the thin stuff that's in here compiled with a lot of the thicker stuff. You might use a little bit larger vacuum for some of that. This is gonna be cleaning up or just taking care of the sand inside and out. If we rub this in a little bit, We'll be able to get that dirt in there a little bit more. Use this guy with just this floor nozzle, which is interesting because this is really not meant for picking up large amounts of stuff unless you just get right on top of it. If you scrape this across the floor, you can see it's just pushing stuff. But let's give her a rip.
most of the stuff's back in here. I don't think this is a real fair test because while this was perfectly clean in the beginning, let's take a look at everything that comes out. We rubbed in quite a bit of dirt there and there is some metal shavings in there which did come from the lift. So it didn't take everything out, but it did a pretty fair job for the type of carpeting this is and maybe the type of use that you're gonna get. Let's just see how it does here. All in all, the bigger thing that I see in this over time, and we've seen this in different vacuums, it's the amount that leaks out the front when you pick it up, especially if that rubber piece is not perfectly set. And over time, this little rubber flap in here might not come all the way back down and hold everything that's in here in place. So you get a little spillage. But for $49, if you're in the rigid line and you want to use this for camping or just minor cleanups on the job site, it is a decent vacuum. Let's come back out a little bit, talk a little bit more about it. Rigid really doesn't give us any specs on this model. And if we pour some of this back out and just take a look at what this will do with the crevice nozzle, it might give us a little bit more of an idea. We can also just take another listen to it. My mic might pick up some of the air that's blowing away, so I'll try to keep it a little bit higher. I expect this crevice nozzle to probably clog up a little bit, uh, which is gonna show it's a little bit lower CFM, but we also have some larger items in here that you wouldn't normally use a crevice item for, but let's take a look at the performance. Overall, not too bad, not too noisy. I mean, we've heard some rigid vacuums out there that are insane on the noise level, but they're also pretty insane on the amount of CFMs that they have and how much they can actually pick up. This is what I would call pretty average for a compact handheld vacuum and not far off of the rigid Gen 5X in reality. The difference there is going to be you're going to be able to handle wet and dry items and it's a more expensive cost. Why they brought something out at a less expensive cost takes me down to what are people looking for in this environment. Are they looking for just one little add-on tool that they can either get as a gift, give as a gift, or um, just purchase to say, hey, now I'm in the rigid battery line. This is one more tool that is very affordable that I can jump into and I can use this on the job site. I can use it camping. I can use it boating. I can use it at my cabin. I can use it at my house for stairs. I can use it in all these different areas. Uh, and we have the different nozzles for different uh, or different attachments. You know, it's there. It's a good price and people feel good about getting a good tool at a good price. I don't think they care about the brushless or not when it is a lower price and you are already in the battery line. So it is what it is here. It's not some new, just world-breaking news. It's another vacuum that's meant at a price point that gives you a decent value. So if you head over to Home Depot, you'll see the reviews on this are currently at a four star at the time I made this. There's whopping two reviews. One of them is Tool Talk and he does list his video where he directly compares the brushless unit, the older Gen 5X, to this new brushed model. If you're interested in that, I'd suggest you check that out. The other guy said that uh, this model he didn't purchase, but it was just plainly too expensive and didn't come with a battery and charger. And that's where I ask, you know, at $49.99, a rigid tool, you know, getting it with the battery and charger is probably asking quite a bit. I could see some different brands throwing that in at a little bit lower end. With that said, 
I'd like to hear from you, is that going to be comparable to this or is this going to compare to that lower end and do you think that this is too high in price? We always love to hear your comments. If you haven't, please subscribe to the channel, give us a like in this video, and as always, have a great day.